Hey, you guys. <clears throat> How's things going? <laughs> you guys uh, starting to get back to normal yet? At all? <clears throat> Washington is, uh, you know, it's moving pretty slow. But um, apparently in Spokane, we have been able to kind of get through like stage one so they said we can start stage two now so that's great um i want to go thrifting over in idaho one of these days soon because apparently they never like really shut down everything over in, in uh Coeur d'Alene which is just right near the border of washington and idaho so who knows might be able to go do some thrifting one of these days soon all right so Thank you, everybody who uh, purchased the the monthly minis for May. Those were super fun to make, and I'm glad that I took you guys along on the journey. And so I thought that was so much fun. We should just do something like that again. And I asked you guys um, if you would like to see the like a farmhouse kind of you know style journal process or the botanical stuff that I've, that I've been kind of already working on. And it was pretty much even, like it was even Steven, <laughs> um, either, you know, one way or the other, or most of you guys said both. So, or whatever I want to do. <laughs> and I like that answer. So I'm super excited to do some farmhouse stuff because and when I say farmhouse I mean well first of all the first thing I think of is all of the ephemera that is involved with that you know and fabric the like quilt top and you know just yummy old tabby fabrics and stuff uh, like feed sack and that kind of thing so when I say farmhouse I'm thinking that era like um, you know, thirties, forties, like depression era, you know, from the twenties through maybe the forties, you know? So yeah. And that is probably, I would say my very favorite, um, time for ephemera just because it's, it's, uh, it's just got such a cool style, you know, anyway, and I have a lot of it. So Anyway, so this is Carla's fault because Carla <clears throat> showed me that, well, she showed in one of her videos of a journal flip through that she had used this cornmeal bag. And I showed these to you guys before, but, and I mentioned this already, but just in case you didn't see that video, I was like, so just blown away by the cornmeal bag. I mean, it was like, I was like fixated with it, like on it, like oh my God, that is the coolest thing, you know, a paper cornmeal bag that she had picked up at a thrift store and, um, and used it in a journal for like a pocket page. So I, of course, had to go on eBay and um, start my search for cornmeal bags and also came across some flower bags. And I'm talking about paper ones, not fabric. Um, I didn't really find any sugar bags. Um, not, not really. I, there might've been a couple, but, um, so, I mean, I was hunting and I, and I really was like, not going to spend a ton of money on these bags. So I did manage to find some, some pretty decent deals. Although, you know, you could, I mean, you could buy a single bag for like 10 bucks, 15 bucks, you know? Well, I wasn't going to do that. So I was only looking for lots where there was, you know, four or five in a lot at a reasonable price. And then if they had more than one lot, I would offer them a, you know, lower price if I bought all of them. And that was how I was able to acquire a few. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so this one in this one, for example, I paid a dollar ninety nine for it, and then it was like three dollars for shipping. But that was kind of early in my search, so I, I, you know, I probably would not have done that because there's only the one. And well, I mean, 
it might w- make its way into a journal anyway, but excuse me, you guys, excuse me. Um, so yeah, so I picked up these, these were, um, in lots of 12. So the seller had two lots that I bought. Um, so here's what I'm thinking. <clears throat> I might wind up doing, I want to do some kits to kind of go along with this series. And what I'd like to do is maybe I want to use like a, a bag in the kit that you could use as a cover and then just add a whole bunch of ephemera and fabric, you know, and um, maybe not, you know, every single thing that you'll need for the journal, but the basics, you know what I mean? And some fun ephemera. So, so I thought what I would do is use these in the kits because I've got a lot of them. Um, this seller had, they was selling them by in lots of four, I think. Yeah. And, um, and they had nine lots available. So you do the math. And so I got all of them and he did give me a good break on the, on the shipping. And, uh, and I thought they were a good deal. They, you know, they weren't, they weren't free. I'm just saying, but, <laughs> um, but I think that they're worth, they're worth what I paid. So, and they're super cute. They've got this neat kind of texture. It's almost like a little bit of a ribbed kind of texture. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but, um, it's pretty cool. And I have a feeling that these were white, white at one point, but they're not anymore. Uh, or maybe not. They might've been kind of like a beige color all the time, always, but they're, it's cool. They all have a recipe on the back for cornbread. So, so I think what, I think I'll do that and I'll make some kits maybe, you know, I mean, I've got, I've got a few of them. I thought these would be good to use as, as covers for a monthly mini too. So maybe I'll do those, um, in June. I don't know. Um, so I'm going to hang on to probably half of these and then the other half I will put into kits and offer those. Um, as far as for this, um, uh, project, that I'm going to do with you guys. Um, I don't think I'm going to do those. I don't think I'll do the minis because I want to do some larger journals. Um, now because I just did minis, So now I want to do some bigger journals anyway. So there was these, there was like 10 of them. Um, I don't know. Anyway, they're cool. <laughs> um, and then I just got two of this one. This is a five pound bag. This is a two pound bag. And this is also a two pound bag. It's just a different shape. You know, it's like a fatter, whiter bag. Um, and then these are five pound bags also. So I had quite a few of these. I think there's like a dozen of those. Two, five, eight, nine. Yeah, 12 of these. Okay. So I don't know. I, I'm not sure which ones I'm going to use. This is another one that I only, I only got one of, but I, and I think it was like a dollar 99 also. So I don't know. Um, but then there's these, these are actually flower bags and it's a 10 pound bag. So they're bigger. And I have another one around here somewhere that I already folded and I can't find it. But, um, but I thought this would be really cool to do a larger cover you know, like maybe something like that. And, um, you know, just do a single signature kind of larger journal and just really, you know, have fun with it. So, yeah. So I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of decide soon, but <laughs> I'm not sure. I, I mean, these would be great to, to use the same way they're just a little smaller, right? I don't know. And then these I thought would be good to make into, um, just like pocket pages in the journal, you know, something like that. Who knows? So if, you know, I don't want to say if you would like a kit, let me know because you guys don't know how much I want for the kits yet. But, 
um, they're, they're going to be moderately priced. We'll put it like that. Um, yeah. So anyway, let me put these down. So what I thought would be kind of fun also would be to maybe use some boxes and, you know, fill them with ephemera for, for a kit. So <clears throat> just, just throwing this out there that I may, I may do something like that too, or I may just make all of these into little journals, but I kind of don't think I will. So, I mean, I've got a bunch of empty boxes and, um, these are airmail boxes. Aren't those cool? Airmail stationery. Um, and then a whole bunch of other boxes that I, I might be able to empty out and, and do also. So, yeah, <laughs> I got on this kick of, you know, buying anagrams, sets of anagrams when I was doing all those charms. And so that's the other thing is I can just do those, I can do those really junky, funky, cool charms in these journals. So, um, <clears throat> So I thought what we would do, and this is what I would normally do, is, you know, look for inspiration. And um, so I thought I would just sort of take you along on my hunt for inspiration and see which direction I want to take with these journals. Um, so I've been just shoving ephemera type of stuff in this box. For a while, I, I, I'm always sorting and trying to organize this kind of stuff. And um, I just thought, okay, I'm just going to put everything that could be like added into a journal in this box that is like, you know, that's cool, that I like. <laughs> um, so anyway, I thought we could look through here and um, just kind of pick out some stuff that I'd like to use in, in these journals. And then I've also got a bunch of pamphlets um, that we can look at if we have time. I don't want this to be, you know, two hours long. But so that's what I normally do is I'll go through, I'll go through books and um, collections of things and, and just kind of set them aside and and give myself um, a collection to work from rather than shopping the whole big giant collection of stuff. I mean, it's not that giant, but you know what I mean? Whenever I want to make some tags or something, I've got this smaller little pile that I can just pull stuff from that I know kind of fits into the theme or whatever that I'm trying to do. So... I, I don't, I don't have all of, I still have a lot of the banking ephemera, like the bank letters and stuff. So I will probably use some of that stuff as pages in these and, um, and in the kits too. So, because they're kind of around that same era, they're actually a little early, um, 1910 to 1915, but I think that that still fits because if I were, you know, a housewife back in 1930, I may have, you know, things from 1910, 1915 that I would use in like a scrapbook or something, you know, and that's kind of what I do. And I don't know if you guys do that. You probably do. But um, when you're working in a specific kind of era, you try to learn more about it and kind of get a feeling for what life was like for people at that time in whatever country you live in. And um, <clears throat> so, you know, it was war time and money was tight and people were very much all about repurposing and getting the most out of every single resource that they could, you know, and that was why feed sack fabric actually came to be was because you know, companies that were selling flour and sugar and oats and, you know, barley and all that, they, 
they were trying, they were being competitive in selling their product and trying to make their particular brand more um, appealing by offering it in a fabric sack that could also be used to make into like a dress or something. So anyway, <laughs> so <clears throat> a lot of this stuff is not going to be really relevant to what I'd like to do. So I'm going to sort of just put it aside, but that's an old map of Paris that I would really like to scan because it's really cool. Um, really neat old, old map. It's a little big, but someday I might be able to scan that for, for whatever. Now this is just a little bag. These are things that I have already scanned and so these are the originals and I don't, not all of these are scanned, but most of them. Um, so these are, this is all like a hall pass. Um, <clears throat> a lot of this stuff is in a digital in my, in my Etsy shop. So I might <clears throat> use some of the digital things from my shop too. Some of those, some of those things. So this was like, these are old football tickets, football you know, just old tickets to different events. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to use these original pieces, I don't think. I might. I don't know. I'm kind of, I'm kind of hoarding them. I'm sort of attached to them. This is actually a copy, um, like a reproduction of the business card. But these are, you know, these are kind of precious to me, so I don't really want to... Uh, to use the originals, you know, as a matter of fact, this one, this shipping tag came, it was on a trunk that I bought at a junk shop. It was still attached to the trunk and it was still blank. And I was like, Oh my God, <laughs> like <clears throat> I almost bought, I think I almost feel like I bought the trunk just so I could have that tag. Um, some of the stuff is not really, old old but this is from 1932 um somebody worked for conoco anyway so that's what's in there and i don't this is a little this is the i've used this to make a template um to make these little french fry bag envelopes that i've used in other journals i think i used them in the little french minis and um, it's really a cool pattern, so I saved one of those just in case I ever lose the the template. And I think I I'm not sure. I don't know if I put it in one of the digital kits or not, but but I will at some point. Um, so these are just some book pages that are out of some old children's readers that I really liked, and you know that kind of have subject that subjects that I like or words or something about these pages or I liked. So before I, you know, got rid of the rest of the book or I don't know, the book was probably completely falling apart and the cover was probably not even able to salvage it. So I pulled the pages that I liked out of it. Um, I can't save all the book pages in the world, right? Anyway, so just things that just have little scribbles and stuff on them. I like to use and, you know, like a, like an old receipt like that, a little old handwritten receipt. And like that, like this has um, somebody's like list of their, their budget, um, $15 to the harness shop. And then First National Bank, $285. That was a lot. Uh, Lind Hardware, $83. Um, so anyway, that's probably not super, super old looking at those prices, but, um, but this is like a deposit slip, but it has a little note written on the back. Um, just little, little bits. These are, I had kind of pulled this stuff out to, you know, for a previous project and now, and then they just got tucked back into that box. So I like these little things that just have little little scribbles on them. So I'll put those in my pile 
of things to potentially use. Oh, that's a little thing about friends. And then this is like a little poem. Oh, this is so funny. I love this. I'd rather be a could be if I could not be an R. For a could be is a maybe with a chance of touching par. I'd rather be a has been than a might have been by far. For a might have been has never been, but a has was once an R. <laughs> I like that. Um, anyway, so some these little debit slips, credit slips. So those would be good. These are good little bank ephemera type of things to use. Oh, uh, these are, this is from a French like workbook. So that doesn't really, I'm not really going to use those. This is another thing of, they're like these tickets that you would get from like a um, travel agency. Coupons that you could use when visiting France. Um, okay, so this is my pile of stuff that I think I want to use and or add to kits. Okay, so, whoops. So again, this is just more of the same. It's kind of like just old receipts. Um, oh, this is a ration book. Oh, these are ones that I printed. That's right. Yeah, these are the, these are the ration books that I printed. So I might, maybe I'll print off some more of those and put, and put one in each kit. Um, think about savings bonds. People were all about savings bonds, right? And then those, uh, stamps. Blank checks. Deposit slips. Uh, green stamps. These are just covers. So these could get used, you know, on tags or whatnot, you know. Um, there's some, oh, this is going to take forever to go through this whole box. Um, it's an old cabinet card. It's a little bit, I mean, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I, if I want to use that. This is, I love this envelope. I just think this envelope is so cool. You know, I mean, that wouldn't be hard to make at all, right? But it's a somebody's Christmas card in there. Oh, that was kind of cute. And I, I've hung on to this because I like the envelope. So this might find its way into a journal or something. Um, <clears throat> and then, let's see. So these are just, this is that, this is that game authors. These are cards from, from a game. And, um, so I'm going to put these in an, a separate little pile over here because I have a bunch of other cards that I want to go through. And what I'd like to do is just embellish them just a tiny bit, like maybe with a little piece of fabric or something or some rickrack and just tuck those into the journals. Anyway, so these are the like study sheet cards from a bunch of different sets of flashcards that I've had and, you know, like the instruction card and that kind of thing. Yes, this is a library thing, but I thought these would be useful for something. So maybe I will try to use these too. Maybe I could just glue you know, some other kind of <clears throat> like writing paper on the back of it or something. I don't know. Or maybe make them into little like, um, little notepads or something. I don't know. Um, oh, this is a really cool book. This is about, um, what is it? Lucerne. Yeah. Lucerne Lake and environs. Um, <clears throat> but it's really cool. It has all these maps in it that fold out. All these cool old maps. Some in color. Isn't that neat? 
and then some advertising and stuff. So this does not really fit into our theme. So that's going over there. Um, more. Oh, these are bank letters. So I must have just tucked them in here because I didn't feel like putting them back in the in the other box. So those will go in the to use pile. Same with these. So then there's there's tons of these um, like saver stamps and you know green stamps and and those kinds of books you know and um so these will definitely i will i will share a bunch of these in the kits too it's a bunch of just pages that i've already torn out and then i i do i have a lot of these stamps that are not glued into books and so <clears throat> i'll probably pull some of those and uh, let me put these with it Let me put these all together. And I think these would make really cool tags. And, you know, these were, well, this says established 1896. So, you know, I'm going to say uh, they're, they're appropriate to use. So this is a little recipe for angel food. So that's cool ephemera. So I also think about like one of the biggest things that I think of when I think of this era in like farm rural America is, um, you know, kids going to school. And that was always like, I don't know, to me, you just, I don't know, like you think about the children's readers and the. Um, the old flashcards and the the um, mom home making cookies for the kids and that kind of stuff, you know. So like the old the old recipes, I think are just huge for a farmhouse kind of style. And um, you know, homemaking, homemaking. Um, so a lot of this stuff really is falls into that. I don't know what that is. That's just weird. Recipe for meringue pie. It's pretty new, so I'm not going to put it in my pile. But these old recipes, look at, they're just covered with um, these just handwritten recipes. And they probably had butter and milk splattered all over them and that kind of stuff. So I don't know. I'll put them in the pile. We'll see what happens. Oh, these are some library cards. Some little handwritten notes. Hmm. It's kind of interesting. You just find the weirdest stuff when you go through like a box of ephemera that you you know, find in a thrift store or something or at an estate sale, most mostly. So you guys might have seen me use these before. I've used reproductions of these. Um, these are the originals that I bought and, um, and I did scan them and, and print some of them off. Um, from Rexall Drugs. So these are, I'm almost ready to part with them. I don't know. I'm going to put them here, but I got all of that other, well, actually I'm going to put them here and then I'm going to pull some other stuff that might go with it. Oh, and then this whole envelope is full of all these pieces that somebody either cut out of magazines. They all have to do with trains and railroad, railroad stuff. Um, so I'll probably add, you know, like maybe like one of the kids in the family was into model trains or something. So 
I think these are valid to use in the kits and in the journals. So, you know, I'll probably add a few of these into, there's a bunch into the kits for sure. I don't know if I will use them in my journals, but I probably will, you know, at least a few. So, but yeah, somebody took a lot of time cutting those out. So this is an, oh, this is funny. Um, this is for like men's underwear. <laughs> I think it's hysterical. Um, and I've, I've read this. It's, it's about this guy out on the farm. Um, but anyways, there he is in his underwear. So, <laughs> um, that is pretty cool. I might have to put that in a journal. So, oh, these are just blank saver book pages. Um, oh my God, there's so much stuff in here. So these are some old, oh, I better not show those. They're all nudes. <laughs> All these postcards. Um, these are images somebody printed at some point. It wasn't me. And I don't know. I don't know where I got them. But I do have a bunch of old postcards. And I mean, this is definitely. This is so pretty. I might have to save that for my flower botanical stuff. Um. What is this? Oh, this is a mantle lamp. So it's the part that you put in your oil lamp, the wicks. Or the mantle, the part that you put up on the top, I guess. I don't know. I have never really been into oil lamps, but four-wheel fun. I like the cover of this. I just think it's really cool. It was like given as like a little flyer at at this bank I don't know it's about four wheeling Lincoln's autobiography <clears throat> so yeah just just a bunch of stuff you know oh this is a insurance card like what to do I love this envelope. I just love the way that that's made, you know? So I use my little, um, the little coin envelopes and just make these. Cause I just think they're really neat. You just squeeze it and it opens, you know, maybe not necessarily glued into the journal, but, but definitely, um, to tuck little, little doodads into it. So I have a bunch of um, like library pockets with the cards in them that I've been sort of setting aside <clears throat> just, just because I'm trying to get them all in one place and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. Anyways, <clears throat> so I have some images of mostly men in uniform all in black and white. And I just thought these would go really well in a farmhouse style journal, you know? So those will, just because of the time, you know, the era. <clears throat> um, oh my God. <laughs> oh, and then there's another one. Hold on. It's another picture. Oh, these are the original ration stamps, ration books. Yeah, I believe I scanned all of these. Yeah, there's like five of them. So see how the color changes though? It's, it, it just, it just, I don't know, but, and I don't know how to edit it. So it, you know, they don't print off exactly the, the, the right color. I think I might talk to Adrian about that before I put those up for sale. Anyway, so just all this stuff. These are old driver's licenses from like the 30s. 
So I might use those in some of my journals. I, I can't really copy them. This is just a birthday card that could go in a journal. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's that thing for, um, that a blind man's hope. So this is a calendar that I have scanned and printed. It's a hunting license from the sixties. So I thought these were pretty cool and those would be neat to use in a journal because they've got the, you know, 1922 Miller hardware. Okay. These are more bank letters. It's like a pledge thing. Beginning archery. I don't know. That might be fun to add to a journal. A little um, place card or, you know. This isn't old. This came out of a little, this little can that. I got from my mom, this little tin, but I thought that was really cool. <laughs> if found, please return to, you know, so I thought that might be kind of fun to scan that and, and copy it. I don't know. Um, this is a Japanese postcard. So yeah, there's just tons of stuff in here. I think this I did actually is in one of my digitals in the in my Etsy shop this um this book from the Spokane flower mills and it's funny because my ex-husband used to work there yep Spokane flower mills um look at there's this old um telegram and I think I scanned that too and put that in in my shop okay it looks like a lot of the stuff right here are things that i have scanned and are you are not in that there's two listings for ephemera just vintage ephemera and i think it says us um yeah so i think a lot of the stuff right here in this little little section See, like I have these library cards just everywhere. Um, I think a lot of this stuff is the, are the things that I used in that little collection. So, yeah. So this stuff um, actually does reproduce really nicely. So, um, yeah. So if you want these, you could always go grab that kit. And I dropped the price on all of my um, all my digital kits. I decided, or digital, I guess they're kits, whatever. Um, I hate when I say that, but cause I don't really feel like it's a kit. I feel like it's just like a collection of stuff. Um, I dropped the price on them because I just decided, and this was at Adrian's urging. Um, I just made all of them the same price. So any of my digitals are now going to all be the same price. And I put them all to two ninety nine. So, and I'm sorry, people that, you know, paid more than that for them um, previously, but I, you know, I can't really, can't really change it. So if, if there was, I just saw the reasoning and I realized that, you know, it's better to just make them more affordable. So, because I can't think about what they cost and stuff like that doesn't make sense. So Anyway, so, so I apologize to people who, you know, had paid more than that. But anyway, prices change, right? Um, anyway, so that may, that way I feel like they're affordable for, you know, most people. Um, just all of this stuff, you guys, like I just, <laughs> this is my pile of stuff that I want to use or put in kits. And, um. It's growing quickly. See, there's another library pocket. 
somebody might have been an artist. I really should have my glasses on. I can barely see right now. What is this? Oh, this is just a little... Probably a card that came on some flowers or something. This is an insurance payment. Whoops. Insurance payment book from 1945. That could be okay. Airmail envelope. It's one of those letters that you fold up and then you just seal it around these outer edges. Kind of cool, huh? I wonder if I could scan that. Probably. I'll see. Um, that's kind of a cool thing. I'd like to. I'd like to maybe scan that before I, before I sell it or get rid of it, you know, or use it in a journal. Um, yeah. So I'm just gonna keep going through this. How long is this video so far? Forty-one minutes. You guys say you like to just listen to me talk, so I guess I'm just just talking. So there's all these greeting cards and just envelopes, and that's what this sort of section is right here. Some votes. It's an old, old, old greeting card. Miss Van Heusen from Joseph Quigley. What does this say? I think I think I remember this saying something really cute inside. Oh yeah. <laughs> Dear Miss Van Oh, it's Van Dusen. I wish you were my wife. I would crossed out love, love you. <laughs> Dear Miss Van Dusen, I wish you were my wife. I would love you. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> From Joseph Quigley. That is like priceless. You know, I don't know. I have to, I don't know what to do with that. I don't know what to do with it. <clears throat> Maybe I'll just add it to one of the journals, you know? I mean, what else am I going to do with it? So all this stuff, just all of this bank type of stuff. Yeah, these are all like bank postcards and... All kinds of weird stuff. So since there's so many interesting things in here. Oh, this is, these are um, cards from like Cub Scouts. Yeah, that the um, like scout leader or whatever would fill out and give to the, to the boys to certify that they completed training and whatever. So I thought those were really cool. Let me set these over here just to see if there's anything else I can do with those. Um, another picture of some old dude at the bank. Lots of old envelopes. So you know what I think I'll do is just, oh, I was trying to like weed this down, but it's like everything in here I want to use. <laughs> I'm having a hard time weeding it out. You know what I mean? There's some more pictures. Just having a hard time. <laughs> I'm struggling here, you guys. Just little bits like this. This stuff would be really fun to just, you know, paper clip onto a page and that kind of thing. So just a bunch of ephemera. So what is ephemera? I ask you. Um, I see like this. This is just, this is like so perfect. 
Um, what is ephemera? Here's some more library cards. Ephemera is a memory. It's like, it's, it's something that represents a moment in time that, you know, was only relevant to that event or occurrence, right? Like, so like this, envelope it just says for the new car right and this is actually where that weird french fry looking bag was it was in this envelope so it was intended as a disposable thing like this was not intended to be saved forever it represents um, the time that somebody got a new car and it, it's a memory, you know, like when they, when someone sees this, they would remember that time, you know? So that's really what ephemera is. It's, it's something that isn't intended to be kept forever because it was only relevant to that period of time, you know, like a postage stamp. It, it really only has like one use. Too. It's not something that you would use over and over and over. Technically, that's not ephemera. Ephemera is something that is just almost like disposable, you know, like a letter. You write a letter to somebody, it's because you're trying to, you know, give them a message or tell them something or, or you know, whatever. Um, and it's, and it's basically just dis disposable, you know, it's, it's, um, it's just a memory, you know, anyway. So when they say something is ephemeral, it, it means that it's, you know, it's fleeting. It's like, it's a passing moment or feeling or event or something like, you know what I mean? Anyway, because so, I've had people ask me that before, like, what what is ephemera? So I just, um, I just feel like <clears throat> you can't really make ephemera. Um, people have a, I mean, <laughs> we have started calling um, tags and clusters and tuck spots and pockets we have started referring to that stuff as ephemera, but really it's not ephemera. Those are just um, elements in your journal, you know. Um, but like this letter, this is ephemera. And you could turn it into a pocket or something. But I just wanted to, I just want to say that. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not trying to be snobby. I'm just saying like, you know, that's really the truth of it is that this is ephemera and, um, you know, a, a pocket isn't really considered to be actual ephemera. It's a pocket. It's still just a pocket anyway. So, um, <laughs> so now I'm kind of getting deeper into this box and really So I would like to in the journals, the, you know, the originals and the envelopes, you know, because the envelopes are cool, right? Look at that. Isn't that yummy? <laughs> um, just all of these cards and stuff. So maybe what I'll do is, um, here's some more pictures. Maybe what I'll do is I'll just make this my box of stuff that I'm going to pull from. Since it seems like so much of it is relevant to this project. And... 
I'll just make this my box that I'll pull from for the kits. And like, see this envelope, isn't that awesome? Like it even has like a little sketch on the back. 1911. Um, I'll make this my bat, my box that I pull from for the, uh, for the kits too. So like these old envelopes. So this one, yeah, see, this one has one of those envelopes in it too. Isn't that cool? I love it. I, I want to make some more of these. Um, I like to make up because this paper is sort of like translucent. So I like to, I want to use some kind of paper that's kind of translucent to make some more of those. Yeah. <laughs> I love them. Oh, there's two. And see, they say, carry in the new car, put in the new car. I don't know why. I don't know why they have to leave them in the car. So there's some of these letters that are not even opened. Yeah, this one's not even opened. And what they are are checks that came back to the bank as, you know, like they used to back in the day. I'm sure you guys remember if you're my age or anything close to it. Um, back when you used to have a checking account and you actually wrote checks for things. Um, your checks got processed through the store and then they got actually sent to the bank and then to their bank, they made their deposit with the checks and then the banks would distribute those checks back to the person that wrote the check and they would go back to the, the bank that they were drawn on. And, um, oh, here's an old, uh, um, autograph book anyway and then they would mail you your checks for that month look at these old report cards september 1 1919 1924 22 1918 1919 those are cool um so yeah it's just tons of ephemera in here guys um, anyway, so a lot of those, so then the bank would mail those to the person that had originally written the check and some of them came back undeliverable because they moved or died or whatever. Oh, these are like target shooting score sheets. Hmm. I wonder when this was published. I don't know. Can't see. Anyway, there's some, I think this is a certificate of award. Neither tardy nor absent from school during the year given at Ritzville, Washington, 25th day of May, 1923. See, this is awesome ephemera for this era, right? So basically all of this stuff. <laughs> Um, these are some letters that <clears throat> I've had for quite a while that I have actually scanned. And these are from, these were written in the 1800s. These ones to Charlotte. And then I have these other love letters that were written in 1937. See this one, this one's to Charlotte. Um, August 11th, 1863, December, 1863. So these are love letters to Charlotte. Well, they're, I don't know if they're really love letters, but he was like courting her, you know, in these letters. And, um, and I have the envelopes too somewhere, but I've scanned all those letters and, um, one of these days I'll make those into a digital and offer them and just call them letters to Charlotte. <laughs> um, there was like seven or eight different letters, I think. Anyway, other, other letters from 
from somebody to somebody. Yeah, so there's a whole bunch of these. Uh, dear, dear little sweetheart. <laughs> I just, I love his greetings on these. They're so funny. Dearest, dearest sweetheart. You know, so I'll probably use some of these in, in the journals too, you know. Um, these are really, these are just some, um, super old, um, dictionary pages. This is where, this is where Tim Holtz actually got those mushrooms in his new digital or in his new, um, like snippet kit, you know, of, uh, die cuts. And I've scanned this and printed off of it too. Just saying it was a French, uh, dictionary. Anyways, these letters, these are really, really old. 1838. But look at, they're just falling apart. But I got to get these. Oh, I think I did actually scan these already. So anyway, so those are, those are saved. So yeah, and this is in my kit too. This V-mail thing. So if you get, if you do buy that, um, it has the front and the back. So if you print them exactly the same, you should be able to print front and back and then fold it up and have the inside and the outside. <laughs> if you, if you do it like, like I've done it, it, it has worked. And so <laughs> see, here's some more library cards. I keep saving these and then I just put them in all these weird places and I never remember where they are. Well, here's another, um, report card. Doris Hoffman, grade 10, 1942, 1943. So, and then there's some patterns too. Oh my gosh. There's all kinds of stuff in here. So, I guess most of the stuff in this box is relevant to this era that I'm thinking of in my head, you know, let me put these back with the other letters. <clears throat> so here's what I think I'll do then is just <laughs> put all of this stuff back in here. And then as I'm going through and making tags and things like that, I'll just have this box out here, you know, um, and I will pull from this for the kits too. Okay. So I'll put some good stuff in them, you know, I'll put some yummy stuff in these kits. I like doing that. I, I think it's, it's fun. Um, Definitely some of these. I'm just saying. There's lots. And I mean, I had a bunch more, but hmm, I had a ton. I found them at a thrift store. And um, and I've picked up more here and there. And um, people have sent me some, too. Carla sent me some, actually. And then, um, you know, or they're just in boxes of things. And, uh, anyway, but the guy at the thrift store, it was like a huge pile of them in this case that in the store, um, and he didn't know, like he had no idea how much I wanted them. And it was, it was kind of funny. I don't know. I feel kind of bad about it, but not super bad, but a little bad. Uh, I was like, well, I'll give you five bucks for them. <clears throat> and he was like, all right, as long as you take all of them. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> anyway. But he did have them in a case. I, so I don't understand why he didn't, you know, feel like they were more valuable. Anyway, so that didn't really accomplish much of anything except um, you guys got to see what was in this box. And I realized that most of the stuff that's in here 
is going to be useful in these journals. So, yeah. And then I already showed you guys all of the stuff from Zoe's old shop. So if you go over to her shop, I will actually put the link to her shop in the, in the description again. If you go over to, it's called Zoe's old shop on Etsy and she has a bunch of ephemera and stuff and she's having a sale because her shop is closing um, for reasons unknown. And actually I'm going to put these in that other box, but um, yeah, you could pick up some other, some other ephemera from her shop uh, at pretty good prices right now because you know, the shop is closing. So I don't know what, what the reason is. It doesn't matter really. I mean, it matters to her, I'm sure, but whatever the reason. Um, and she has tons and tons of stuff. I don't think it's because the shop wasn't doing well because I think it, it was, you know, she's got lots of sales and stuff. So anyway, let's just try to support her in whatever uh, reason that is. And it's hard to make that kind of decision. So, um, anyway, and she did extend her shop closing, I guess, to like the 15th of June. So, but yeah, so you get like 25% off like a $80 purchase, I think. I don't know. I can't, I can't remember. And she might've changed it anyway. So just go check her out. And, um, but she has a lot of this kind of stuff in her shop. So. And maybe I will try to put these kits together. <laughs> um, there's going to be a lot of uh, cards in those. I, I I just I don't know. I get on these I get on these kicks where I go I go in search of a certain type of thing, you know, and um, and I'm not happy until. I have enough of them and um <clears throat> and then so I feel like I have a collection you know what I mean anyway so these types of things so I'll probably add like one of these to each kit and and whatnot anyway I bought like three boxes of these they all came in the same lot but these little deals just all kinds of stuff there's even some um, French vocabulary flashcards. So, anyway, um, so that's, I guess, enough for today. <laughs> um, maybe I will shoot another video and I will um, go through some of this other stuff and through the pamphlets, too, because I'm going to be pulling pages out of the pamphlets. And taking them apart so um, just so you guys can maybe get an idea of what I'm looking for in those pamphlets and how I plan to use them I mean I might have a plan and it might not work out to, to, to be that way but but that'll be my plan anyway um, this map I'm gonna put in here because because I am and these are gonna go in here so yeah, anyway, I'll try, maybe I'll try to put those kits together in the next couple of days. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. <laughs> thanks for watching and listening to me ramble on. Um, yeah, this is going to be super fun. I'm really excited. So, you know, let me know if, uh, you know, if you still, still want to hang out <laughs> and continue on this journey. So we'll just do some, some farmhouse stuff and, and I might wind up doing some, um, some botanical stuff too. Who knows? We'll just see what happens. All right. Love you guys. Bye for now.